Good morning, students. First, I read that today we will go with geography, climate classes. Welcome all of you to Sima Bakshi's Mahabir Coaching Classes. Here, today, comparatively speaking, we have to understand that Brazil is in the southern part, whereas India was in the northern. Or when we studied India, India, we studied that it is in the northern part and Brazil in the southern part. Also, Brazil is having vast latitudinal extent. So, from equator, it crosses equator to Tropic of Capricorn and is too close to the southern hemisphere. So, major part of the Brazil is in southern part lies in southern hemisphere. Second, in terms of climate, when we study trade winds brings rain to Brazil. India, we studied about monsoon winds. Here in Brazil, we have to understand that trade winds bring rains to Brazil. Trade winds, as India was having two different monsoon trade winds, so Brazil too also have. One is from northeast, another is southeast. Now, this southeast and northeast, geographically speaking, they bring rain, that is true. But when we study climate as a whole, the nation is totally apart from that of India. As we compare it with India, the physiographic divisions of Brazil, as we studied the five physiographic divisions, first definitely Amazon River Basin, the Pantanals, the Escarpment, the Brazilian Highlands and the Islands of the Brazil. So, whatever we study, we have to understand that these areas play a major role in demonstrating the climatic condition of Brazil. First, the temperature, because of the equator and tropic of Capricorn, temperature varies too much here. Also, the other side is that as Brazil is too close to the southern hemisphere, this region also has different type of climate. Apart from that, the world's longest beach is here. Also, the escarpment definitely the rocky mountainous terrain area, though not very height, of not very height, yet demonstrates a major role in making the climate of this country. After that, we also we have to understand the importance of the Brazilian river, river basin. Brazilian river basin encompasses most of the area of Brazil. And again keep in mind the most important starting from here, these are also the Guyana Highlands of which one Pico de Niblina, Niblino is the highest peak here. And because of the elevation area, the area that receives rain in these directions is after this area too less. But here it is the equator. 5 degree to the north, 5 degree to the south, from here to north and to south, that is 5 degree to north and south, is the equatorial belt. We call it equatorial belt. And here, temperature is high. But at the same time, evaporation ratio is also more. So, on the year account, annual account, the difference in temperature is negligence. It's not too much. Because this is the area which is having vast evergreen forest. Second, because of the equator, 5 degree north and 5 degree south, this 10 degree line receives everyday rain. We call it also an equatorial rain or equatorial type of climate. Because of that, though rainfall is not very high, yet this region receives abundance of rainfall and is the main source for river Amazon. There are various rivers that are arising nearby. And all the join combined to make Amazon a river basin. Just like that of Ganga in India. Ganga has many of its tributaries, so do Amazon. But try to understand the other side. This is one, and another is the slope of the region is in this direction. Whereas here it is in this direction. That is why, on the most, the rivers flowing in Brazil moves towards east. So, the upper portion to this east is known as North Atlantic and the downward portion to this is known as South Atlantic. Now, the coastal area on the eastern border is divided into two. 
that is North Atlantic, South Atlantic. But keep it in mind, we are on the eastern coast. Now, this is the water body, and remaining are the land boundaries. That means various countries have border Brazil. <coughs> At the same time, because the storm is in this direction, Amazon River in Brazil receives huge amount of water. Keep this in mind that the origin of the Amazon is outside Brazil. One. Second, when we study about the water, it's a rainfed area. So glaciers are not available there. But because of the <coughs> equatorial type of climate, receives rain. Abundant. This is also the same when we speak about Nile in Africa. Though Africa is a desert, yet receives rain because of the climatic condition that is equatorial type of climate. Now, on the other hand, when all this area receives some or more part of rain, because of that, it is not favorable for human settlements. Everyday rain do not permit the people to settle at that place. Naturally, green vegetation grows on a large scale. And because of this green vegetation, dense forest is the most characteristic feature of this area. This area, because of the dense forest, is also known as the lungs of the world. Now, keep it in mind, when we study all this as a lungs of the world, everyday rainfall, not very high rainfall, Apart from that, do not have top areas as we call them the glaciated mountains. Yet, the rain is more everyday phenomena. So, people do not settle down here. Though there are some tribal peoples having their existence since long ages. But at the most, these are the areas which are totally devoid of human settlements. And that is why greenery at the most is preserved in this area. Well, because of this, the climate to this equator throughout the year is different but very negligible. Means a fluctuation of 4 to 5 degree is what this area receives throughout the year. That is not the same in other parts. When we come towards the southern part and enters into the middle of the Brazilian area, here we come near Pantani. These are the wetlands. From here towards upward, we find one of the most characteristic feature in the in terms of water body is Anaguna, which is available in this area. Because of the pandanus or because of the wetland, this area too, the, means this area too, do not permit the people to settle down here on large scale. That means because of the climatic condition, these are the areas or this is the area that is the western side of Brazil where population is very less and because the population is very less this area that is as we call it the Pandana or the wetlands favors its own different type of ecology now here also as we move towards the south temperature goes on rising and the main feature that apart from equator the temperature varies here is again the availability of the water and green vegetation or the dense forest which are not that much available in this region. Apart from that means after pandanals or the area which is also known as uh, Dandal as we call it in Hindi or the wetlands does not permit the people either for agriculture or even for settlements. So naturally having its own type of ecology this area also receives rainfall but not too high. After that we come to the extreme south and towards this region this is the area which is most highly elevated, elevated and altitude as it is higher the Brazilian highlands we call it keep in mind Guyana highlands and Brazilian highlands that means here is also and here it is also. Between this is the narrow street that moves towards the east and the flow of water is according to this. So, because of the Brazilian highlands, some of the rivers have their origin on these highlands. This is also called the Shil. Shil is the area, geographical area, which had its existence long ago. Once it has come above the water table level of the sea, never got submerged down the sea. And that is the area which is 
very well protected from the earthquake eruption of volcanoes. So naturally, this is also the same. Shield in India is also an area we call it Deccan Plateau. Deccan Dakshin. So here in Brazil, here it is the area which is elevated and because of that the rivers having their origin moves in this direction because slope is here. So naturally the rivers will move like this. Try to understand the geography. Here it is height is more, here also the height is more and here in between it is less. So naturally from here like this the slope is in this direction, here also the slope is in this direction and this is the portion which gives the water access towards the eastern coast. So from here to here we find many rivers merging with the Atlantic Ocean. And other side is that now this area being an elevated part to certain extent being also a shield area is the area which favors agriculture. Water is not more here, rainfall is not more here, rainfall is not more here too. But on large, this is the wetland, whereas here it is favorable for agriculture. And that is the main reason that majority of the population of Brazil is settled down on the coastal region. This is the coastal region. Though rainfall is not high, yet because of the wetland or because of everyday rain phenomenon, people cannot live in this region up to here. And now the remaining part is this which favors agriculture. Coffee is the main production. Soya bean. And they favor it. Now, tentatively speaking, when we speak about India in terms of monsoon, specifically four months are the months of rainy season. That does not arise here in Brazil. Some more characteristics in terms of climatic conditions for rainy season is changing in Brazil. Now the other side is that these are the escarpment, these are the areas which are altitude, having a high altitude and because of that the winds moving, the trade winds from southeast that is moving in this direction gets obstructed. So naturally this is the area that receives high rainfall and then the area adjoining this is said to be drop water level. This is the area which is said to be drought quadrilateral. That means because of because of the trade winds have obstructed, being obstructed in terms of escarpment, very few rain percolates here on the central side, and that is how the drought area is created. This drought is also recognized that drought quadrilateral is a major feature of this area here. Again keep it in mind, the temperature do not vary very much, particularly here, here. But this is the area where temperature changes, specifically this. Being too close to the south pole, this area being too close to the south pole can sometimes, very rarely, receive snowfall. But snowfall is not because of the altitude, it is because of the winds that move from. The cold currents from South Pole moving towards this brings snowfall to the region. But that is the rarest case. Till today, it has occurred only two or three times. And because of that, this area having more rainfall on the highlands, the edges of the highlands, have the origin of some of the rivers. You can study it on map. Particularly while studying this, you have to understand that uh, particularly in terms of the map, we have to understand page number 25. Page 25 map and that is Brazil. You can understand how the climatic condition slowly starts gaining momentum or how it changes according to the rainwater and according to the temperature. But at the same time, you also have to understand that uh, there are also areas uh, which on geographical sense is much more easier to understand and that is on page number 15. This page number 15 will show you the geography, physiographic divisions and this will be able to understand. Physiographic divisions. 
physiographic map of Brazil will give you these divisions and then you can easily understand the climate here. Map reading is more important when it comes to equator tropic of Capricorn. And both the map may it be of climate or of physiographic division because of the colors. You can easily distinguish yourself that these are the areas which demonstrate the climate of Brazil. Also, the other side is that when we study the physiographic divisions, the physiographic divisions in terms of fifth division that is island is created here because of river Amazon. The sediments that are being brought down on a large scale from this area gets deposited and a riverine island which is biggest in the world in terms of area, the largest in the world is created here. Now this island is of utmost importance as we call it Marajo Island. This is the area where we call it Marajo Island. Now this is river atmosphere created because of the river. The river comes and gets distributed in this area. This area gets cut off from the mainland and the specific area that is elevated because of the sediments brought down by the river creates an island like situation, one of the biggest area in the world. Also we studied when we studied about India that Sundarbans are also the deltas that are created. So now river and island it's a marriage. and apart from that there are certain few islands which are smaller in extent are the area but the rivers at the most deposits their water in this region. Amazon here and after Amazon, some of the rivers that deposit their waters in these areas uh, are only San Francisco. San Francisco is the river which is having emptying its water in this region. Apart from that, uh, there are also some other rivers that is Parana, Paraguay. But Parana is the river that moves from here. And from here it enters into Argentina and then enters into the South Atlantic Ocean. If we try to tentatively understand the climatic condition, though being a large area compared to that of India, on the more, this is the area which have greenery and rainfall more. This is the area where rainfall is to certain extent in this escarpment area. More, but drought coordinate. And then this is the water body. That means favorable conditions for the population habitation is the eastern coast. This eastern coast is the area where most or the majority of the Brazilians settle down. And this is the area where least, particularly this, at least here we can have some. That is why government of Brazil also uh, can come up with go west policy. Go west means these people can move in this area and settle down here. That was the government's political plan because of the borders being shared by certain other countries. Now, in general, in terms of climate, we have to understand these trade winds and these trade winds are apart. That is, the northeast and the southeast trade winds are apart as compared to that of India's monsoon. India has one more climatic condition that is retreating monsoon, which is not available here. But here the distinguishing feature is the Amazon having its origin or having its existence in equatorial belt, 5 degree north, 5 degree south. So 10 degree line gives every day. Now equatorial climate being very favorable for the rain also Everyday rain do not permit the people to settle down at a single place and that is why greenery has been here since ages. This is the main reason that it's a hub of oxygen and they are stuck as the symbols of carbon dioxide. Also made as the lungs of the world. Now, because of the climatic conditions uh, prevailing in one or the other areas, or many of the other characteristics as terms in terms of uh, uh, industrialization, pollution, deforestation, Brazil is also facing all this. In the name of industrialization, some areas adjacent to these areas, these areas means the greenery 
are being cut down. That means deforestation is also taking place in Brazil. But comparatively, yet Brazil is much more greener and the area, particularly the Amazon River Basin area, is having more greenery in anywhere apart from the world. And that is the main difference between the rest of the world and Brazil. That is why when we study about the Brazil climate, we have to understand Amazon, we have to understand Pantanal, we also have to understand escarpment, then the Brazilian highlands and the islands. These are the five physiographic divisions which if we try to understand, we will be able to understand it more easily compared to the equator and tropic of Capricorn. Because climatic conditions change drastically. When the sun is in the northern hemisphere, naturally winter is here. And being too close to the southern hemisphere, sometimes, rarely, snowfall do occur. Otherwise, even if the snowfall do not occur, temperature drops out. And variation in temperature is more here as compared to here. Because of the high temperature, the winds that blow are vertical. And that is the main reason that every day at a specific time period, to a certain extent, rainfall occurs. Now, that rainfall, as it comes down, moisture content increases and temperature drops down. So, the variation in temperature here is negligible, very less compared to this. Also, the beach or the sand is having unique feature of its own in this area. The beaches here are somewhat apart from the beaches we are having in India. Now, one Amazon river, try to understand, and when we study about Amazon, it's not only Amazon. Many of the river channels merging with Amazon or the tributaries of Amazon making water body of Amazon a huge water body coming here, settling down its all whatever that is being brought down, dumping it in the area here and creating a management. So, first Amazon, second Pantanal, that is the wetland, it is as we studied in Brazil, this wetland is also the part of this site. But we are studying only Pantanal in Brazil. So, second, then third, the escarpment. These are most important because when the trade winds try to enter into Brazil, they obstruct the winds. Major rainfall occurs here only and remaining part as the water, oh, sorry, as the clouds moves or enters into Brazil, they create drought or drought. After that, this Brazilian highlands, number four, these two demos, actually these two demonstrate the climatic conditions of Brazil at the most. But this though uh, drought coordinator here is favorable for agriculture. And that is where soya bean, as we spoke about, and coffee are the main agricultural products of Brazil, as Brazil is known of everywhere. This is the area where the slope is at the high. So the rivers are from here to here settled down into north and south Atlantic Ocean. If we try to understand, according to the Christian calendar that is January to December, you can get easily acquainted to all the types of uh, months, all the months that are bringing rain to this area. Also, some of the features that are available here are the climatic characteristics. Now, the climatic characteristics you have to understand is that one, the regions, and second, climatic. For example, if we try to understand, first is Amazon Valley. Amazon Valley, when we studied about this, you can read what the unique feature characteristics is. Second is Pantanal. Now, slowly, you are also making your answers regarding all these things. Third is North Coastal Region. After that, we can come to North South. And the last, that is the Southernmost Region of Brazil, as we come here.
if you try to get the answers or the specific uh, points then easily you can understand the climatic characteristics everyday rain temperature negligible and do not very high rain yet everyday rain is the main feature wind blows in a vertical direction because of the temperature high temperature sunlight directly coming down on the earth second pattern wind lines as this area is a somewhat marshy the area have many of the grasslands so naturally it's the center of many of the flora and fauna which is the uh, identity for brazil then the north coastal region that is here the south coastal region that is here and the southern coast are totally apart this is also the region where snowfall occurs but very rarely it is said that snowfall did occur but very rarely and it was only in a some part uh, that uh, in 1985 that snow occurred for the last time 1985 is the year when snowfall occurred now this snowfall as it occurred here since before that it was in 1975 and even 1966 but it is very rare so because of that we can understand that climatic conditions compared to india with brazil is somewhat different and it is because of one two three four and five hope you understood it but after reading the text it will be more easier with comparative study of one and two maps in the textbook that is physiographic map and climate of brazil you can easily understand it thank you